Hey everyone, Nayman here. And have you ever wanted to play a deck that you don't own on Spell Table? What about test out a new deck before you buy it? Or play some of the most expensive cards like in Vintage or CEDH? Well, this video is for you. All right, everyone. So we're got some screens up. We'll go through it and talk about it a little bit. The first screen that you guys are looking at, this kind of darker screen here, is of course our OBS, uh, right? Open Broadcast Software, the kind of main way that most people are streaming or getting around being able to record stuff. Uh, there's of course XSplit and other programs and things, but I figured OBS is nice, easy, it's free, don't have to stress about it. So we're going to use this as our kind of go-to way of doing it. You can see kind of my mic stuff going, but it's muted, so you can't hear me through there because we're recording it on other things. So if you would like to be able to record up, quote unquote, record up your games on Moxfield to be able to play on Spell Table, there is a trick to do that that I will show you how to do. So that way, even if you do not have a deck, you can always be able to play with somebody on Spell Table if you have access to OBS and Moxfield and Spell Table. Um, so let's go through how exactly you can do this. So first things first, we've got our sources down here. Um, we're going to, of course, do our little plus sign here, and we're going to go for a window capture. And I have a bunch of different ones uh, that are already on here. Let's do a new one so you can see how this works. Uh, new one, we're going to call it Moxfield. Uh, so people can know. Bam. Okay. It's like, oh, we're recording XSplit. No, we're going to record our Chrome. So if it doesn't show the right one, right, you can look through your different windows that you might have up and running. And now we can see our Moxfield window is up. Uh, you can capture your cursor, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, capture method, automatic, all this stuff is great. Really, our main goal is to get the window up on here. Uh, so, Moxfield is great because you can input your decks. You can see all the different ones here. Uh, we'll click on the, one of my favorite decks, the Garth deck. Uh, and you can see, okay, here's all the lists. We've got all the cards. But it has a great thing if we scroll down. There's this play test mode. Right? And so we could say, uh, let's deal another hand. Sounds great. We'll do a play test, right? We wanted to be able to do this. Now you can see we have a, a large window available to us here uh, that we are currently capturing. Uh, and in OBS, we don't really want everything to show up because the main play area is going to be here, right? We're going to be able to place cards down that that's what we're going to be able to do we're going to be able to draw there are hotkeys over here on the side to help you right you can sit here draw a bunch of cards you can view your library if you're cracking fetch lands you can of course search up lands so it's nice and easy that way uh and then when you're done you can just close and shuffle your library uh there's hotkeys so you can tap your lands all that kind of fun stuff um but if we capture the whole window, our hand is visible, right? And I can, of course, adjust the size uh, by zooming in more. You see up in the upper right-hand corner, we can be able to zoom everything in even more, right? And just kind of adjust where our play area is. That way, it's a little bit easier for people to be able to uh, see. But so let's, we've zoomed in now. I'm at 180, but again, we can do that. Uh, our window capture on OBS here can be adjusted. The size that, of the window that we're uh, being able to see um, very, very easily. If I hold down the left alt key and just drag our window up, boom, we can chop off the stuff that we don't want. All right, nice and easy. Then our window's here, right? We can kind of zoom and adjust accordingly. Uh, that's our main thing that we want. We want this window to be visible. We don't want our hand to be visible, but we want the play area to be visible. So now that I've adjusted our window capture, uh, we can then do this lovely button here. We've got start streaming, start recording, and start virtual camera. The virtual camera is the trick that we're going to use. So if I click start virtual camera here, It'll have that. Oh, you can stop it. But we're going to tab over to our spell table here. I'm going to create a new game. 
I'm going to say uh, streaming test. I'm not going to make it public. We want it to be commander. And I'm going to click create. It's going to say, oh, there's an error. It's not working. Your webcam is currently being captured by something else. But we are not doing that. We're going to do the virtual camera. And now, oh, here we go. It's popped up. And you're looking at it and go, why is it doing this screen? Because the way that we're recording it right now uh, is to window capture. Uh, so if we kind of tab this guy over, all right, we got a new window up. Uh, that's going to be our goal. So it's going to be capturing whatever we have that set for. So when we're on OBS, we can go back through and fix that. Change the window now that we've got it on two separate windows. So our mox field again. Now you can see we've got all of our drop downs. So spell table again, or going back to the Garth deck. That's the one we want to be able to capture. So we need to have two separate windows essentially. All right, tabs, putting them up there doesn't quite work. You saw how it just kind of got them together, but now you can see how it's capturing the one. So we could say join now. Now it's very, very small and might be hard for people to see. So again, we can adjust the size of our window, make it a little bit easier on OBS. And that is what everybody gets to see. It is capturing that. And we could tab back over here and we're good to go. We still have access to our hand. Boom, can play our cards and they'll show up here. Now, I don't know, it does work. Oh, see, I love it. I was wondering if it's gonna work the way I think it does. Uh, so again, you can adjust the, the size of the screen to make it easier for people to be able to see on spell table if you don't want things to be you know, super clumped up. But again, you have all this room if you zoom in um, that you can kind of maneuver around and do things. So that is, that is how you can do it, right? You're going to need two windows open, one for Moxfield, one for Spell Table. Have them on separate windows, and you're going to be capturing them using that Windows Capture mode. And of course, you can adjust it accordingly, easily, to which sort of one you want to capture. Spell Table, Moxfield. So easy, easy tricks. Let me know if you have any questions, if this made sense to you, and I can happily go over this in more detail. But I hope you all have fun being able to play decks that you might normally not get to play in person. I was talking to my play group specifically about being able to build CEDH decks. That way they don't have to spend the money, but we can sit here and play it out using Moxfield. But uh, thanks so much for tuning in and watching everyone. And I'll see you guys next game.